Let's take a closer look at the weather for this week because it could be quite interesting. There will be some fine and sunny days around, but for some parts of the UK, it could get really quite soggy through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. But there is a fair bit of uncertainty, particularly around Wednesday and Thursday, thanks to a tropical weather system. All will be revealed. After that, though, it does look as if the weather should calm down again with drier and brighter weather for most parts of the UK as we go towards the weekend. But let's take a look at the bigger picture. It was this area of low pressure that brought the windy weather on Sunday. That's cleared away. And now we're looking at this little area of low pressure coming in for Tuesday, making for something of a soggy sandwich with quite a bit of wet weather over these central areas, especially North Wales and Northwest England. But either side of it, something a little drier and brighter. So that's Tuesday's weather system. That scoots away. And then something pretty similar looks like following through Wednesday and Thursday. But it's this one that there's a bit of uncertainty about. For the reasons behind that, we need to, again, take a look at the bigger picture and the here and now. Uh, this is the satellite image showing Sunday's low pressure system. This area of cloud will bring the rain on Tuesday. And it's this area of cloud which is actually a tropical storm, tropical storm Edouard. Now, it's interesting that uh, we're up to the letter E, the earliest we've been in the season up to uh, the letter E, but it's not a particularly interesting storm in itself. It's uh, not particularly strong and it's not really near any land. And during Monday, it will stop being a tropical storm. It will transition into just a more ordinary area of low pressure, which means we can start drawing weather fronts on it. And it is going to drift its way further northward. So no longer a tropical storm, but notice it does still have some warm and humid tropical air mixed in with it. Now that can add to the uncertainty in the forecast because it's basically a bit more energy and um, sometimes the computer models can't handle this particularly well. And the extra bit of uncertainty then comes from how it will interact with the jet stream, that fast moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere. Now the most likely scenario is that this area of low pressure will just stay on the warm side of the jet just to the south of it as it approaches the UK. However, it wouldn't take much for the jet to be a little further south or the low to be a little further north. And if this low crossed the jet stream, well, then it could really pick it up, it could really intensify that low and turn it into something a bit livelier. It could then bring a spell of uh, really quite heavy rain and some strong and gusty winds. Now, that's just a small chance at the moment, but it is an area that we need to keep a close eye on. The most likely scenario is that this low will just drift in, bring its warm and humid air with it and bring quite a bit of moisture and so more rain for parts of Wales and southern England in particular. But as I said, it does need watching. Once that's out of the way, it looks like high pressure will move in towards Friday and Saturday, bringing drier and sunnier weather for all of us as we go towards the weekend. But there is that bit of uncertainty just about how that weather system plays out over the next few days. So make sure you stay up to date with the very latest from the Met Office by following us on social media.